Hey, hello there, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it. For as long as I can remember, I've loved this movie called The Thing, directed by John Carpenter, starring one of my very favorite actors, Kurt Russell, and a bevy of other recognizable faces. And I've always loved the movie, but I didn't always know that it was based on a story by John W. Campbell called Who Goes There from 1938. And I knew there was two movies, The Thing from Another Planet and The Thing. And I liked them both, but I was a big fan of the Carpenter film. Uh, at some point, I became aware that this movie, these movies, were based on a story, and I'm a book collector. So I decided I wanted a, a copy of the book, a good copy. And the f original book publishings of them are very expensive, the old ones. But somebody has published a nice edition called Angel Bomb. The publisher's called Angel Bomb. I'd never heard of them. A relatively new small press. They specialize in letterpress printing and things like that. If you're interested, look them up. They got a pretty interesting website. But I saw that they were publishing a copy of Who Goes There, a hardcover copy in multiple con uh, configurations. They had a deluxe version and a standard version. Standard version is what I got. It's limited to 200 copies and I actually bought it on the secondary market. I had it saved as a book I wanted to buy and I just didn't pull the trigger on it yet and I saw one for sale, I saw the chance and I took it. And I got it in the mail and I wanna see what it looks like in person. First of all, I'm excited to see the production, but second of all, I'm wondering if what I got is as good as what I would have got if I'd have bought it new, or did I make a mistake? Anyway, I got a bit of a discount, but again, it's secondary market. There's always a little risk, a seller that I'd never bought from before. So this book, originally published, uh, the public, you can still buy them from Angel Bomb. Check them out. $165, I believe they say it's free shipping to the, the U.S., the book is short. It's not, a, it's not a fat book. It's 57 pages. Originally published, I think, in two parts in a magazine. And, uh, well, let's, let's open it up and see what it looks like. This is, uh, it's got a Japanese cloth boards. I think they said 19 illustrations, numbered to 200 copies. And it came with some other little stuff. So let's see. See what it looks like. See what some of that other stuff is. Because I honestly don't remember. And I honestly don't know if it's actually included in what I bought either. Sometimes you take a swing. And sometimes you miss a big strikeout. Or, you know, maybe you get on base or make it all the way home. But it looks like my seller gave me some paper cushion. Uh, okay. So this, on their website... This is called a letter. Is it upside down or upside up? I don't know. Either way. There you go. A letterpress belly band. And they show this wrapped around the book in the picture. But we'll, we'll show you what it looks like wrapped around the book in a minute. Here is my book with a little extra stuff on it. Japanese cloth bound book. And you can see embossed in the cover. What's that say? Who goes there? There is this. And what else is in here? Two more things and some paper. What else is in here? So, what is that? South Antarctica? Looks like Antarctica to me. And secondary, Polar Expedition, Big Magnet, Antarctica. So if you've, if you've read this story already, you're, you know what we're talking about. If you haven't read the story already, read the story. It's good. If you like the movie, The Thing, you're going to like this story. It's very good. It's, it's different, a little bit different. The, the gist of it is the same. Essentially, these scientists are in, our, in Antarctica doing a magnetic uh, science, studying the poles and all that kind of stuff, and they find an anomaly, and they go to check it out. They end up finding a spaceship in the ice that they figure has been there for whatever, a long, long time, long, long time, and in there they find this thing, this alien creature, big blue or purple, I don't remember, blue thing, big eyes, three eyes, it looks evil, and it, it's dead. They think it's dead. Well, they're scientists, so they say this is the greatest discovery in the history of whatever. They decide to take it back, and guess what happens? The thing 
it's not dead as much thinking as they do and there's a big uh a big dissension between the group every step of the way do we destroy this thing do we preserve this thing do we uh, keep it here and study it take it back to, to uh, take it back home and study it what are the repercussions diseases and things like that all sorts of things but this beast comes back to life and like in the movie the thing it can imitate stuff and i won't give you much more of the details but the story is very good it's not that long so read it you'll love it i think it's i think i like it better than the story of the thing you got some of the same characters mccready is in there although kurt russell as great as he is in the movie he's not mccready in the book a big giant guy he's always referred to as a a bronze giant sort of a uh, guy anyway big guy um the book is terrific i want to take a look at this edition so you can see the title is embossed can you see that in the cover the spine is blank but it's quarter bound japanese cloth two colors this book is letter press the the entire thing and it's chock full of art now i don't remember why i don't remember i don't know but this paper is phenomenal i wish if you could feel the paper it is so thick and feels so nice i don't know how you would describe it it almost feels like cotton paper uh, it's really cool the book is letter pressed and i can feel it the artwork holy cow look right off the bat phenomenal illustrations let's see who the illustrator is illustrations by todd Feiberg, printed with permission 2002 and I, I just opened this joker up and i'm already excited pleased that i have it and the paper is so nice the typeset is so bold and that letter press printing feels so good can you see uh, the print is a little bit small there with big margins chapter one oh, but it's beautiful it's cool. amazing thing i strongly recommend it if you've got any even the least bit of interest you this is beautiful beautiful high quality it's the binding a nice i mean it's a little book but beautifully bound take a look at the the print is so bold and thick uh, there's a, a full page spread of what it looks like if you're going to read this edition here the print is a little bit small and the margins are big they could have gone a little bigger with the print typeset and they could have fit it in there but anyway they, they made this book i don't make books so who am i to tell them what to do but i'm in man i'm glad i got this thing and i'm going to be taking a look at this publisher a little bit more closely angel bomb i i really don't know what else they've published i think i did read that they've published six works in the history of the company and this is the first one i get came on my radar look at the colors in there it came on my radar because of this story i think originally somebody on facebook but i can't it was a group but i can't remember the group it might have been a john carpenter group actually posted that this was coming out so i said "Ooh, i'll have to check into that that was before it was published i didn't pre-order and i kind of just forgot about it honestly just forgot sorry I do that thing sometimes. And then I was on eBay and uh, snooping around looking for copies of who goes there. And I saw that somebody just posted this and the buy it now was considerably cheaper than the original, than the published prices. Uh, so I, just as fast as I could, I mashed them buttons and bought the book before somebody else got there first. Look at the colors in there. The colors are nice. Man, this is awesome. I feel, <laughs> I feel like, uh, uh, one, bad, because I didn't pre-order this book and get it coming in. I just didn't know what to expect. And uh, sometimes I get gun-shy when, uh, when I'm dealing with something that I haven't ever dealt with before, a publisher, a seller, or whatever. Uh, but now that I have this in hand, I kind of feel like I should have I should have pre-ordered this thing and bought it right away. Just so many illustrations here anyway this this does look nice and i strongly recommend it get over to angel bomb i'm not telling you what to do get over, go over there i'm not telling you what to do but go do it go to angel bomb order you up one of these you probably won't see it listed 
on the secondary market very often. There's only 200 copies. That's why when I saw it, I said, oh shoot, I wanted that. Let me buy it quick. Man, the beautiful colors in these illustrations. Look at there. What an iconic image. Excellent. Uh, the paper, the cloth boards, you can't feel it. I'm a, sorry, but I feel it. It feels so good. This paper, it's so thick and it doesn't feel like paper. It feels like, I don't know, maybe it is more like a uh, cotton. The artwork is so nice. I love the the very plain colors with the red mixed in. The red really pops. Look at here. Just speaking of red and red popping, it looks so good. Practically an illustration every page I turn to. The artwork is so nice. But anyway, if you if you're a fan of John Carpenter's The Thing, he made a great movie. Kurt Russell is awesome. And the book is very familiar, but it is a little bit different. So it, it's it's like you kind of think you know what's going to happen, but you don't really know if what's going to happen is actually going to happen. Reading it was fun. And I said this was uh, limited to 200 copies. It is signed by the artist. Mine is number six. You can't have this one. It's all mine. Conceived by Todd Thyberg in Minneapolis, Minnesota at Angel Bomb. Letterpress printing, and it is uh, the end papers there. It is amazing. I'm so glad I have this. I feel fortunate. Let's put this belly band on. Leather, it's just paper. I didn't know from their website if it was leather. It almost looked leather in their pictures, but it's paper, sort of like a, a paper bag. I don't know, softer material, but I guess it could be comparable. Let's see if I can get it on the book, actually. In the pictures, they got it on the book. But I don't know if I can get it on or not. Stop trying. How about this? We'll do this on my own time. <laughs> that's kind of what it looked like on the book there. How about that? That That's better. That's what it looked like in the pictures on the website. Uh, what else? It came with these patches. I showed you the patches already. I didn't know they were there. I don't know if the website even mentions such things or if there was some sort of a backer project or something along those lines that these came with. But there they are, uh, neat additions to my collection. I do love this book. Thank you for your time. I can think of no more lives to tell in that regard. So say la vie, baby.